Okay, hey guys, um, welcome to a knife review. This knife, I'm just going to call the Cutlery Lover Knife, but it's a knife made by, or designed by, Cutlery Lover and made by, I'm going to say it's pronounced Beston. There's no stickers on it? Oh, okay, here's the sticker on it. I've been playing with it for the past week, ever since I saw Cutlery Lover's um, announcement video on it. I bought one and then been playing around with it and I thought I could give some I'm not sure if I could give more constructive criticism, but I Have my own perspective on this. So it, it comes in this nice box as a little magnetic Snap on it. I hope my microphone isn't going to be freaking out because it's strapped on to the table that everything's happening on um and it has this nice foam protecting the knife. Now, I'm actually surprised by the packaging, um, but it is just cardboard, so it did tear when I took off the little sticker holding it together earlier. I put it back in its little plastic bag it came with. And Cutlery Lover designed this knife to be a mix between like traditional and modern so it looks kind of like a traditional pocket knife only with g10 handle scales but as more than that it has a, a flipper to assist in opening the knife or the main blade and then it has a nail nick on the the normal typical folder now I would just go ahead and flick this right out however that's my main problem with this knife is that it's really tough to flip um, out. The detent on it is really stiff. And that was something I worried about with um, Cutlery Lover designing a knife, but I'll get back to that in a minute. It has this nice, really sharp point. It is a really sharp knife also. Is it gonna focus? There we go. Um, and it's a liner lock. Let me just try to flip this by holding it normally. Is it possible? Is it humanly possible to flick it out with one finger? No, I cannot do it. Can I do it with my thumb? Kind of. Um, yeah, just the, at least on my model, the detent is insanely stiff. And that's what ruined it for me in my weak hands, I guess, is that I can't open it really one-handed. Um, there we go, I got it that time. Yeah, it's. I wish I could play with it. I want to be able to play with it more, but I can't because by the end of opening it three times, my finger will have a dent in it. I really love the design, though. I love how it has Cutler Lover printed on it. It is weighty, like he talked about in his video. It's not, like, super heavy compared to, like, a bigger knife obviously but since it is the size of like a traditional case knife it's it feels a lot heavier and then the the other problem which isn't much of a problem he pointed it out is that the nail nick on the the secondary blade is further up so it's pretty difficult to get that secondary blade out that i can do um but it is pretty difficult and i don't know why he couldn't have just moved the nail nick further up i know it would have taken away from this swedge that he wanted here but like just just move it up a bit you can still have your nice point and um we could have the nail nick in the right place it would wouldn't have to move up much further to just clear this little bit here but it's still possible so let me just try this one more time to use the flipper normally I want to use both hands. I cannot. I'm I'm trying as hard as I can to flip this knife open. <laughs> and I can't. I can't do it, okay? It's it's impossible. You, I am not the strongest human being on the planet, but it is extremely difficult to flip that out. And even try especially trying Cutlery Lover's method where um in a video he said to press down and then flip up. Um at that point I'd just be poking into my bone if I tried to do that. Um, so I do it with the side of my finger and 
hope it works. Sometimes I like stabilize it with my left hand. Uh, so I don't know if it was just the model I got or the knife I got. There were 300 of them made, this $40 version. Uh, there's a $90 version that uses D2, I believe. And that that is literally the only difference between the two. Um, if you have rough carpenter hands, then this won't be a problem, but uh, sadly I do not currently, and this is probably going to get me a lot of flack in the comments, but um, it's just something I have to point out. And a lot of knives that I've gotten that Cutler Lover recommended, I noticed that he is like a lot stronger than um, the average human. Uh, he will bend back metal and stuff that I cannot even phase. Again, I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of flack amongst the prepping community for not being strong enough. Um, now I can't even flip it open. There we go. Every now and then, um, I'll find the perfect angle. Oh, and I lost it. But watch this detent here. You can hear such an amazing click when closing this because it's so um the little ball bearing that's in here goes so deep into the blade there we go got it that time uh so the knife design i absolutely love and um i think for pretty much a custom design knife for 40 dollars is pretty much unheard of i really appreciate the price as soon as I heard oh cut your lover designed a knife I'm like oh there's no way I'm going to be able to get that so really good on pricing I am very happy that he um or these two work together on the pricing because that's really cool that we can hey I did it um we can uh work together on that something I have another thing I'm sorry for constantly critiquing this but um right here these are obviously just sharp 90 degree angles and when you're flicking it and considering it's really hard to open your finger just naturally smashes into these sharp angles again probably not big of a problem i'm getting better okay um but worth noting the finish on it is really good like the fitting of everything there's no grooves or gaps or overlap between the G10 and the whatever, the stainless steel. Just by manipulating this knife, and I've been playing with it again all week and uh, trying to loosen this. Um, just been playing with it right now. It's tearing the skin off my finger. <laughs> so I'm going to leave a link to Cut Your Lover's review in the description just because um, he touches mainly on all the points of the knife. I don't really see the point in repeating of it. You can see it. It's a knife. It works. What I've, what I've been doing when I actually get it to open is sort of pinching it in between this joint here and my finger right here. Sometimes it doesn't want to do that. Also, I can't really get the, the fat of my thumb to hit that liner lock. So I've been using somewhat of my fingernail to push it in, which I do that on a couple knives where the the liner lock is either stiff or harder to access. Uh, good job on him in his review. He's talking about how these knives were originally swapped. Good job uh, moving these over because there's no way I would have been able to access that if this blade was over here. Overall, you can't beat the price. It's an amazing design. I'm glad I got one because uh, limited edition thing for $40 it is pretty neat. I'm sorry that I've been pretty much talking about one topic this entire review. I hope you still liked it, and if these are still available, I'll leave the link in the description, and uh, you can play with one yourself. Also, if you have one of these, let me know if it's as difficult for you to actually flip this normally, because, oh, it's, it's, not, it's not happening that way. See if you can do it that way, um, and if it was really difficult for you, because maybe I just have, like, one that mach was machined out just slightly because it, it has to be very slight for like the tightness of a detent to change just like a millimeter can probably throw the entire thing off it's probably only a millimeter deep 
So once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next random review that I do on this channel.